hey guys, welcome to a Who Universe news for um for today, of course. Um, yes, as you probably can tell, yeah, last night was comic relief. David Tennant was the presenter for last night's Red Nose Day, and I thought we'll kick things off by talking about Red Nose Day because uh, it's been reported this morning that, uh, well, you know, early this morning that uh, Comet Relief has been able to raise so far over thirty eight. Million, nearly forty million pounds has been raised for Comet Relief so far. Uh, that just shows that, especially during a cost of living crisis, it just shows how much we are general, how we dear uh, Red Nose Day to our hearts, and it just shows that we're uh, we're able to still raise that amount of money despite the crisis, and people are able to give what they can despite the you know some people are going to be holding back from doing stuff like this, but it's good to see that the generosity is still there despite the uh, the troubling times that people are you know that we're all living through right now. So I, I and by the way, you can still donate. There'll be uh, links in the description for those who want to still donate to Comet Relief uh, by yeah you know, by phone, text, online, and I think you can still buy the Red Nose Day merch on Amazon if you still want to get yourself a Red Nose or any of the other merch that is available this year. They should still be on Amazon if you still want to go for them. Um, I'm hoping they they have still got the page up. Uh, if that if not, then. You know, just search Red Nose Day and they should be there for you to find. Um, but it's nevertheless, it's really good to hear that Red Nose Day is doing really, done really, really well. Now we move on to the big news of the topic. And that is that we finally have a release date or an air date, should I say, for Doctor Who's return as Shooty Gatwa begins his sec first series with Billy Gibson in Doctor Who. Yes, the Doctor and Ruby are going to be returning to our screens on Saturday, 11th of May, 2024. The day of Eurovision for this year is when you're going to be able to see uh, the new series of Doctor Who. We have this new image here of uh, the Doctor and Ruby inside the new TARDIS. A uh, very similar location to where... David Tennant had his photo shoot as the 14th Doctor during the 60th anniversary, so uh, well, leading up to the 60th anniversary, which is really clever. Uh, but there's actually some big news about this announcement because not only, obviously, it's going to air on BBC One that night, but they're going to do something they haven't done before. They're actually going to be premiering the first two episodes of this new series of Doctor Who will be airing from midnight, early morning of Saturday the 11th of May. So as soon as we hit Saturday the 11th, they are going to be streaming the first two episodes on BBC iPlayer and on Disney Plus for everyone to be able to watch. If they really want to watch it, you'll be able to watch the first two episodes through BBC iPlayer, even before they aired the first episode on BBC One that night. Before, which will air by the which by the way is going to air before the Eurovision Song Contest that very night, so we'll know the time slots near the time. But nevertheless, this will be the first time ever that you're going to be able to see two episodes of a new series of Doctor Who before they even air the first episode of this new series on actual on the actual channel, which is insane. And they're going to be doing this, by the way, every Saturday uh, from Saturday the 11th. They're going to be giving you an episode to watch. As we hit midnight every early Saturday midnight morning, you'll be able to you know, see BBC iPlayer. And there'll be a new episode for you to watch uh, if you prefer to watch it through BBC iPlayer. Or if you're somebody who likes to do things traditionally, you can still do the whole BBC One Saturday night routine if you really want to do it uh, during primetime Saturday night. Uh, otherwise, you could just simply watch it through BBC iPlayer and um, see it that way instead of having to wait for BBC One to show the episode. You can just go to BBC iPlayer because it's free, by the way. All you need, all you need, is a BBC account uh, to get in, and then boom, you can basically watch uh, the Hooniverse as well as these new episodes as they start airing uh, on the service, which is great. Um, and for those at Disney Plus, of course, it's going to air on the stream from the 10th of May, 7 p.m. EST is when you're going to be able to stream it from Disney Plus, uh, wherever you, if your country does have Disney Plus, you'll be able to stream, you stream it from those, from those, from that time every Saturday. 
uh, beginning the 10th of May, especially for those outside the UK who want to see it through Disney+. Plus. Um, these new episodes of Doctor Who as they start making their way to the service. But it's really, really good. And by the way, of course, it, because of this announcement, they went on to obviously announce that we're going to be seeing all of Ruby Sunday's family. Uh, so we're talking Claire's Sunday, Cherry Sunday, and Mrs. Flood will all be returning, along with guest stars including Jackson Moosen, uh, Ariane Brander, uh, Yasmin Philly, we all know she's going to be coming back as uh, Donna's no- Donna Noble's daughter, Rose. Uh, Jonathan Groof, who we still don't know who his character is, but apparently he's going to be a very important character at some point in this series. Uh, we have Bonnie Lamford returning as Mel, Gemma Redgrave returning as Kate Stewart, Lenny Rush, who is apparently playing Morris, but we don't know exactly how important his role is going to be yet, but we'll hopefully learn more about his character soon. And then we have in- India Varaman, who we don't really know what her involvement's going to be, but we'll I'm sure we'll learn more about her character at some point. Uh, but Russell T. Davis does go on to say the uh, the following. At last, it's my great delight to unleash the whole new season of Doctor Who, uh, the Doctor and Ruby, uh, to adventures together, monsters, chase villains, mysteries, a terrifying secret that has spanned from the time and space for decades. Don't miss a second. And what was really interesting is because BBC actually says this about the upcoming series. Within the upcoming series, attendances will see the Doctor and Ruby travel through time and space on adventures to the unknown lands. The Renegade era era of England, the outer space worlds, and the 60s. Of course, we know the 60s part is going to be related to the Beatles, uh, which we know that there's going to be an episode related to them uh, in this upcoming series. So we know that's going to be tied into that. But the whole outer space stuff is really interesting, and the Renegade era of Earth, which is interesting. I'm not too sure what that means, but it's... Yeah, there's some interesting uh, themes going on uh, with this series, and I'll be interested to see, uh, and I'll tell you something, I'm really hoping that Radio Times does an episode guide soon, and well, at some point when we get close to the series, because usually Radio Times puts out an episode guide on the TV in their Doctor Who uh, new season preview. Um, I'm hoping they're going to do a whole episode guide where they announce all the episode titles, which would be nice. So at least we get an idea of what to expect from each of the eight episodes. And then we just, and then we get to hear from Russell about what he thinks about each one of them, which would be really cool uh, to learn uh, about each of the episodes as they start, yeah, as we start seeing what these next, these uh, what we'll, well, hopefully what those eight weeks are going to be like for um, Doctor Who, which would be great. Uh, so yeah, so that's the big news regarding the new series that it's going to air on the 11th of May, uh, the same day as Eurovision. Um, you'll be able to see the first two episodes as they go out. The second we hit midnight, Saturday the 11th of May in the UK, you'll be able to see the first two episodes before they air the very first episode of the series on BBC One later that day before Eurovision, which is that's basically how things are going to roll in terms of streaming releases for Doctor Who going forward. Speaking of um, Doctor Who, of course, um, do obviously know there's going to be some comic books coming for Shooting Gatwood this summer. And in fact, one of them is air, uh, the free comic book day uh, release is going to be the 4th of May, just a few days before the new series starts. So maybe it'll tie into the new series. Maybe we'll have to wait and see on that one. But there is going to be another one uh, releasing on the 24th of June, which will be the first volume of the 15th Doctor comic books. It's going to be priced as $40, um, roughly £40, if you're looking to get your hands on the first official issue of the 15th Doctor comics that they're going to be rolling out this summer to comic book stores which is nice for those who want to uh, take a look at that obviously now of course russell did tease um yesterday about some content dropping on stream uh, streaming content for the 15th of march but we never really saw what that content was so i don't know did i don't think they said really what that content was in the end uh, i think it might have just been the announcement of the uh, of the new series release date or something that's probably what it was but it's really interesting he kept teasing that the other day and yeah very very interesting um speaking of something else that's interesting it could be that Stephen Moffat might be making a return 
script as a writer potentially for this year's Christmas special because his name was mentioned on a CV for Alison Sterling, uh, who's obviously going to be appearing in this upcoming Christmas special. Uh, he's been listed as the writer for this Christmas special, and yet nothing's been announced by the BBC yet, which is very telling because Ross Stephen Moffat kept telling people that he didn't have time for Doctor Who, but that all of a sudden his name's on the CV. So it's tell something sm s smells a little fishy here. How he keeps telling people he hasn't got time for this, but yet his name's on the CVs all of a sudden. So sounds like there's some kind of conspiracy theory going on with Stephen Moffat. And he's keeping things close to his chest, and maybe this is some sort of deal that Russell's created with Stephen that they're keeping very tight lipped about. And we're probably going to we're probably not going to be hearing anything. Like I said, we're probably not going to be hearing anything about this until probably closer to the new series if they are going to announce it this early. Uh, there's even been talks that he might be contributing to episode three of the of the upcoming series. So we'll see if he's involved with that. And then that will probably confirm whether or not he's going to be involved in this year's Christmas special, uh, whether he did write the Christmas special, because they have already finished filming it. So surely we're going to get confirmation at some point soon, whether or not Stephen Moffat will return to Doctor Who this year and whether he's going to be involved with episode three of the new series as well as this year's Christmas special and he's going to write it uh, in place of Russell T. Davis so Russell T. Davis can focus on the next year's series content and this series after that potentially so we'll see if that's indeed the truth that Stephen is going to be involved with some projects with Doctor Who this year. We'll have to keep our eyes appealed just in case this ends up being a real thing uh, for Doctor Who fans to look forward to in 2024, that the man himself could be making a return to do stuff with Shooty Gatwa, which would be interesting. Now, as well as that, we did get a new Doctor Who magazine uh, where they've got Shooty Gatwa in costume as in front of the cover. They're also remembering Michael Jenkins as the Valyard. Uh, they're also talking about Planet of the Dalek. Um, they're also talking about the Goblin. So they're giving um, people a chance to um, learn about the Goblin design that they did. And they're also talking about the Doctor's outfit as well as the 15th Doctor. Uh, they also announced some new cast and directors for Series 15 in this issue as well. So they do have a lot of uh, some new casting announced for next year's series um, already, which is pretty crazy and in fact Polterbox actually did a whole um, article talking about these uh, these stuff and they also talk about uh, AI, genera AI generated marketing starting with Doctor Who so apparently there's going to be some sort of AI um, marketing being involved with Doctor Who uh, they actually did a whole interview uh, with David Hodson who is actually the head of media in inventory and he actually goes on to say we're going to take it we're going to take one step at a time starting simple and learning as we go we have chosen to start with doctor who as a joint content priority between bbc public service uk and bbc studios marketing team there's a rich variety of content at the hooniverse um, collection on bbc iPlayer to test and learn with and doctor who theoretically led itself to i ai which is a bonus which yeah, we'll see what happens because we don't know what to think of this. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. And oh yeah, by the way, they even updated the press release to remove David Hudson's statement uh, regarding this, which is really interesting that they try to try to hide the fact that they were going to test it with Doctor Who, even though they've he put those comments out there and everyone knows about what he said. So it's just yeah. So apparently, some AI generated marketing could be coming for Doctor Who. Uh, in preparation for the new series in May, uh, which would be very interesting to see what will transpire for the uh, for the series. But yes, if you want to learn about the uh, the new the new casting and directors that have been announced for next year's series, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to learn more about the the new castings that have been announced for series fifteen, as well as this year's series as well. There's a couple of castings for this year that have been confirmed uh, alongside next year's um, casting for next year's series. So they've kind of done a mix of both in the Doctor Who magazine just recently, which is 
really nice. Um, on top of that, we do have uh, three original hardcovers that are going to be coming to Doctor Who. We don't know what they're going to be, but we'll probably find that out in the coming weeks, what these covers are going to be related to. Um, there's also going to be a standard collection, a standard packaging for Doctor Who, um, the collection season 22. If you're looking to get your hands on it as a standard version uh, packaging, uh, that will be rolling out in the coming uh, in the coming weeks. There's also going to be Doctor Who: The Adventures Before hard book. There's going to be a hard book for that. There's going to be Doctor Who in Wonderland paperback that's coming, and there's going to be a third Icons book that's going to be on the way this year, alongside Peter Huncliffe's The DNA of Doctor Who Volume One. Uh, there's going to be a uh, volume one of this DNA of Doctor Who featuring the one of the formal, well, one of the formal um, owners of Doctor Who, Pete, um, Philip uh, Cancliffe, who actually owned Doctor Who um, during the 70s, um, obviously was responsible in charge for like putting the show together for for that period. He's actually wrote, written a book talking about you know, the DNA of Doctor Who and some of his some of the well well loved stories that he was involved with at the time, which is really cool to uh, to learn more about his time as the showrunner for Doctor Who at the time when he was involved with Tom Baker's episodes um, at that point. There's also the third and fourth Doctor Companions figures that are now priced at five pounds at toysforapound.com, who are uh, reducing the uh, the price for the Sarah Jane uh, Sarah Jane Smith. Ramada 1 and Ramada 2 figures that is a part of the companions for the third and fourth Doctor's uh, set uh, that you can now get as part of this £5 deal that they're doing on that website which is really uh, nice. And there's also a new candy jar book looking at Benton's Files number 4 uh, which is the fourth volume of the Sergeant Benton books related to Unit of course uh, which they've, they're they going to be releasing that at the candy jar store uh, for you to get your hands on because it's already available from this on from this website if you want to get your hands on this book and learn more about Sergeant Benton, uh, who is everyone's favorite unit sergeant alongside the Brigadier. But um <laughs> and then of course Doctor Who the collection season 15. We know that's gonna be releasing very soon, of course. And um to, to, and obviously, for those who want to get their hands on it, it's going to be available on the 18th of March, which is next. Obviously, this coming Monday, you will be able to get your hands on Season 15 of Do Doctor Who, the collection, for people who want to get their hands on that, which is really, really lovely. So, yeah, not long to go until you can finally get your hands on that story, of course, which is really, really cool. Uh, and, then, and we're still waiting for an official release date as well for the... Um, Celestial Toy Maker because they haven't put an actual release date yet for this story. So I'm hoping the DVD release will be out just before the new series, hopefully in April if we're lucky. But we'll have to wait and see because nothing's been announced yet by BBC Studios. But I'd like to be hopeful that we will hopefully be able to get our hands on the Celestial Toy Maker next month, just before the new series hits. Uh, for those who want to, well, especially for those who want to get their hands on the story known as the Celestial Toy Maker and see that animation finally on DVD format, which is really, uh, really cool. So, but yeah, nothing's been announced yet. We're going to have to wait until BBC Studios are ready to to announce details about what they're going to do on that front. Now, as well as this, I do also want to. Um, touch on the fact that David Tennant is going to be presenting a game show. Um, it's called IT, uh, ITV uh, are, the, are going to be the channel that are going to be broadcasting it. And it's called Genius Game. Uh, essentially, this is what the game is centered around. So essentially, Genius Game is a brand new reality game show that will see strategized minded people chosen not just for their highly intelligent pros, but also their social IQ. Facing the ultimate battle to survive, survival to win, contestants will participate in a host of never-before-seen games, all designed not only to test their intelligence in human, but encourage them to carefully and craftily use the art of manipulation to outfox their opponents and win cash prize. So, yeah, very interesting. And they also do, and it's also 
produced by Ra Remarkable Entertainment. And they do say here that viewers will see David take on the role as the creator in the eight-part series, which originally originates from South Korean, and it guides players as they attempt to navigate each unique crafted challenge. Who will have what it takes to take to take the 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 decide collide or outsmart their opponents to become the UK's but the first UK winner of Genius Game? Sounds like an interesting game show, doesn't it? So. Yeah, David Tennant is going to be the uh, the host, essentially, of this new game show that's going to be coming to ITV in the near future. And this is the first photo uh, that we have of this game show that he's been filming with ITV. A very interesting game show. I just thought I'd mention that, considering this is going to be the next thing he's going to be doing now that he's wrapped up uh, Red Nose Day. He's going to focus on this new game show with ITV. Uh, which might air this year. We don't know if it is going to air in 2024, but we'll have to wait and see because ITV haven't really confirmed whether or not it's going to air this year or whether it's been saved for 2025. Uh, I suppose we'll have to wait until they're ready to let us know about air dates for this new game show. I would imagine it's probably going to come out roughly before the end of the year. I would imagine we should see um, this game show make its debut on ITV and we'll get to see... Uh, how David Tennant does in his first ever game show hosting, which is going to be going to be very interesting to see uh, the you know to see David Tennant known as the creator in this, which is going to be nice. So that's uh, another game show, uh, a new show that David Tennant's going to be involved with in 2024 which is going to be really cool uh the fact that he's going to be hosting his own game show i think i think it's i think it has potential to be really really good um we'll have to wait and see what will come out of it because like i said we don't know what to expect from this so it's all a bit of a mystery at this point yeah that's pretty much all the um all the news we've got at this time uh, for those who are wondering, yeah, this is this time. We're just kind of holding out, waiting for more Doctor Who news. And, and by the way, uh, Russell is also working on that spinoff, The War Between the Land and the Sea. That's already been filming right now. Uh, we don't know if it's going to come out this year, but we hopefully we'll hear more about this spinoff uh, later this year, hopefully, considering they've been very... Uh, they, they, they're obviously being quiet for a reason because they don't want to talk about it just yet, but when BBC does finally officially announce the, uh, the spinoff, which they probably will eventually, uh, we'll find out when it's going to debut on BBC iPlayer and Disney Plus if you're looking to watch that spinoff whilst we're waiting for... Um, Probably as part of the build-up towards the Christmas special, if we're lucky, uh, we'll hopefully see this leading up to this year's Christmas episode with Shooty Gatwa, which we know is coming at the end of the year. Anyway, with that said, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all, catch you all with more Doctor Who news soon. <laughs>